Welcome back to Super Flat Survival Episode 10. A lot of big changes took place in the base in between episodes. As you can see behind me, we have a gigantic wheat farm growing on one side of the base. And on the other side, not so much going on there, but we have the start of a giant potato farm. And all those resources can be traded to the villagers in the villager trading area. Uh, which we're going to go visit in a minute, but first I have some things to do around the base here. Looks like the uh, iron farm is working nicely. I love to see it. Oh, here's another view. Hey, there's my horse Brownie down there. Here's another view of the new farms that are placed in. That's a lot of wheat. I've harvested up the wheat and we're going to trade it. Um, there's also a lot of sheep in this pen over here. Uh, let me hop down off the iron farm here. I have some things to show you. Because we also got a visit from a wandering trader in between episodes, and I was able to purchase... Where did it go? This! Dark Oak Saplings. So we have eight of them now. I haven't grown them up yet, but that's another kind of wood that we can get, in addition to the spruce and the oak. Also, a few episodes back, I, I traded with a, uh, a wandering trader and got a mangrove propagule. And I left it somewhere out in the world at a village, and I want to go get it. So we might have time for that in this episode. Otherwise, we'll do it in the next episode. Let's have a sleep real quick. You might have also noticed there is a new vine farm growing over here. That's also another wandering trader purchase. I got a vine and uh, placed it down, and I've been harvesting them up. Where's my shears? Here we go. Yeah, just like so. Grab some vines every once in a while, and then I just place them in the chest over here. Uh, we don't have very many, but uh, we can make the mossy cobblestone now, which is great. Um, I actually I set up the cobblestone generator again. I, I removed the lava source when I'm not using it, though, just in case uh, somebody or something wanders in. I'm looking at you, brownie. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I actually need to stock up on cobblestone, uh, but... Uh, for what I have planned right now, what I need is stairs. Uh, let's grab a stack of cobble, actually two stacks. Um, I'm going to make a slight modification to the base real quick. And so I'm going to need some more stairs. Uh, let's make uh, a lot. Yeah, there we go. 45 is plenty. And I need buttons. Where did my smooth stone go? Ooh, I'm going to need to smelt up some more of that as well. All right, let's make a whole bunch of buttons here. I need... Du -du 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 -du. I don't know. A stack? Let's just make a stack. Why not? Well, that's a slow way to make a stack. <laughs> How many is that? 47 is probably enough. We'll stick with 47 for now. It's less than a stack, but it should be enough for what I have planned. Uh, what are the buttons for, you ask? Well, I've had some problems with uh, slimes spawning in my farms, and I suspect it's because of the border here. So I went ahead and placed buttons all around. I think what happens is small slimes can spawn on a single block, maybe, and then they hop across the farm and destroy some of the uh, the tilled farmland here, and then that allows some of the bigger slimes to spawn in and they just destroy my farm area. Uh, so I've had to go around and button this up, but uh, here, what I want to do is, oh, I left a vine behind. What I want to do is make a modification so that we can get 
up and down to the different crop farms here. And I'm going to go ahead and place that in here uh, by the nether portal. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and put it in here. I hope I have enough resources for this. I need stairs. Okay, so we're going to fill all of these back in with cobblestone. There we go. We have a little bit of building to start the episode. All right, that should do. And then I need stairs to get up there. So let's grab some stairs like so. Uh, is that going to be enough? Yeah, that gets me all the way to the top. Here, let's place these ones all in down here. A nice big stairwell. Um, I might make this into a nicer block later, but what I wanted to do is open this up up here. Uh, so we have a nice way to get up and down, <clears throat> excuse me, up and down from uh, the base area to the farming area. Uh, now I should probably place some buttons in here. That's what the uh, buttons are for. So let's place those in to prevent slimes from spawning in this area. And then I want to do the same on the other side. Uh, another thing I want to do is I want to open up this area here. Uh, so let's open up. Yeah, we have a kind of a bridge that we can make in between farming areas. Uh, let's grab some cobblestone walls and connect that up. And then we need to mine these ones out as well. And then as you can see, as I'm removing the walls here, uh, there's some spawnable spaces that we need to set some buttons on. So uh, that's what those are going to be for. Here, let's actually place those buttons in now. Hopefully I made enough. It seems like I did. Maybe I should have made a full stack. Also, it looks like the carrots need harvesting. I haven't seen any slime spawn in this area, so that's good. Maybe there's not such a big problem. Uh, but there is... Oh, I think I also need to go down here and place in buttons as well. So I'm going to have to go craft some more of those. Um, but I'm going to do the same on the... Excuse me, I'm going to do the same on the other side as well. Uh, so that really opens up the farming area. I could actually just connect the two farms by tilling the soil and then planting crops in between. Uh, but I don't know, maybe the buttons is better. Anyways, I'm going to do this the rest of it later. I just wanted to show you what I had planned for a little base modification here. Yeah, I like this already. Nice, easy way up. And then, then we can get rid of the... Uh, we can get rid of our little dirt now. These little ladders that I have set up. Actually, I'm going to leave them for now because it's easy access. Um, especially the uh, potato one because I'm still expanding that way. Uh, this one... No, no, I'm going to leave it for now. It's just temporary though. I'll get rid of these blocks eventually. Um, Alright, let's go shear some sheep. Yeah, there's so many sheep in here. Uh, sometimes they get out and then I just kill them, but that's... Another story. <laughs> uh, let's see if I can get in here without the sheep getting out. Mm, crouch and... Okay, there we go. I'm in. Uh, check this out. This is insane. <laughs> if I just... Oh, no. I placed down water somewhere. Where's the source? I didn't mean to do that. But no harm done. I don't think... There's no torches up here. Uh, okay, I already have some wool. Alright, let me go ahead and start steering these sheep. This is... It's, I get an insane amount of wool from this, and wool is a tradable item, so we're going to take this over to the villager trading area in a moment, and we're going to trade it away for emeralds, and I'm going to show you everything I've unlocked over in the trading area. It's a lot. You might be surprised, actually, by how much is available to trade now, uh, but I don't want to spoil it. I'm, we'll just wait until we get over to the villager trading area. These sheep are really noisy. <laughs> All right, my inventory is going to fill up fast, I think. Uh, but let me see if I can get as much wool as possible here. Um, I think usually I go until the shears break. Because uh, I can I can keep steering sheep. And eventually I'll run out of shears before I run out of wool. Uh, but I'm pretty sure my inventory... Oh, no, I still have some inventory space. Is this faster than an automatic farm? Because I was thinking about actually making a sheep farm. Um, I also need to start a pumpkin farm. I grew up a few pumpkins in between episodes, but uh, we don't have a farm for that. And we can make automatic farms now. We have everything we need. We have uh, access to redstone from villager trading, and I can craft pistons. And we can go to the nether and get quartz to craft observers. And uh, that's pretty much everything you need for a uh, pumpkin farm. 
that and some building blocks, I suppose. Some dirt, and of course the uh, pumpkin seeds, which we have access to now, thanks to the wandering trader. Alright, I think the shears are almost broken. This is taking a little bit longer than I thought to shear up all the sheep. Uh, but I'm trying to make the shears break. <laughs> Come on, break shears. There's not much durability left, I think. And I'm running out of inventory space. Okay, here's some more unsheared sheep over here. How many shears left? How many clicks with the shears do I have left? Not many. Not many, I think. Come on, break. There we go. Okay, so that's the shears broken, which is my cue to leave. There we go. Uh, don't escape, please. And they will regrow their wool. Uh, let's fill our inventory with... Here, I need to dump some... Oh, let's get rid of the vine. And let's get rid of some of these stone blocks. Uh, we're going to use... Oh, yeah, we're going to finish that later, so I don't need all this stuff. Oh, I have more stone buttons in my inventory. Uh, do these stack? Almost. Oh, it's so much quieter now. Uh, okay, so let's stock up on wool. Um, and let's take this block of iron, because we can trade that. And also, I've been getting um, hay bales from the wheat from this farm. Hey, wait, check this out. Who am I? I'm that dude. I'm the guy from the movie with Russell Crowe. What is that movie? Gladiator. I'm, I'm Gladiator. <laughs> I love walking through the wheat field. All right, that was, a, uh, <laughs> that was just a bit. Anyways, uh, let's go back. Oh, we can use our new stairs to get back. Um, okay, did I pick up everything? No, I can get more resources still. Let's go fill our inventory with tradable resources, and then we'll get some emeralds and trade them to villagers. Because I want to show you all the things that we can get now down there. Oh, I should take some wood as well to trade sticks. Uh, let's Okay, let's grab a couple blocks of the hay bales, and then we'll fill the rest of our inventory with wool. Okay, that's, that's a full inventory. I need to transport this stuff down closer to the uh, villager trading area. Uh, which is kind of a pain, actually, <laughs> to move things back and forth. Our base is so long now. Um, but I set up these chests over here to make it a little easier on my inventory. So I've been filling, yeah, this one, I put the wool in here. Uh, let's go trade a bunch of wool, though. Uh, this one is the hay, the crops go in this one. And then where, what did I just do with the iron? Oh, yeah, these blocks of iron, I'll keep those on me. We can trade that as well. Okay. Uh, let's see, it's gonna go nighttime soon, I think. I oh, know we have some trading time left. Uh, oh no, they're already taking their beds. Well, I'll be right back then, when the villagers are ready to trade. They, they're they not in the trading mood when it's time to sleep, so, uh, uh, we'll just sleep the night away, and then it'll be trading time. All right, it's villager trading time. Let me show you what I got going on here. Uh, let's go ahead and start with the wool guy, who should be over here. Uh, what are they called? Shepherd. Yeah, let's start with the shepherd. Uh, hopefully we brought enough wool where we can level the shepherd off, uh, all the way up, because I want to see what we can unlock after the uh, banners. We did unlock a banner. Uh, oh, wait, where are you? Okay, yeah, we can um, we can get orange banners now. Um, and we can get a couple new colors of beds and also some carpets. Uh, but that's about all we can get from the shepherd here. I'll, I'll put the wool up here. We'll, once he unlocks that trade again, we'll be able to get uh, we'll be able to get the shepherd level up. Uh, what else did I bring with me? Oh, I have iron. So let's actually here. Let's do this smart. Yeah, that's a lot of iron. <laughs> Um, but we have a lot of villagers that trade iron, and I need emeralds, so let's see. Okay, they're they're mostly all over here. Which guy are you? Oh, yeah, this is the guy I've been buying diamond hoes from, because it took uh, almost four diamond hoes to till all the farmland. Uh, okay, but you trade iron, so give me as much as you can. And what other trades did you have? Oh yeah, you're my silk touch pick guy. Yeah, you're amazing. Don't go anywhere. I hope nothing happens to him, because I need to buy some more uh, Silk Touch Diamond Pickaxes. This is our armor guy, but he also buys the iron. So let's get some emeralds there from him. 
I need to buy some more diamond armor too. I want to disenchant it. Uh, as soon as we get an enchanting table, we just need some diamonds. Let's see. Okay, you buy you buy iron too, and you also have the sharpness sword. Yeah. All right. So that's the more of the iron sword. Uh, where's the shepherd? Shepherd, shepherd, shepherd. There. I. Okay, he's trading wool again on a discount. Let's get rid of all the wool we can. And it looks like we can level the shepherd up. I'm going to go grab some more wool real quick from the chest that we brought over. Uh, oh, is that it for the white wool? Okay, I guess I, we traded a lot of it away already. Uh, okay, it's not locked yet, so let's finish trading all the wool we brought. Wool is easy to get. I love trading it. And what did you unlock? Yes, we can get paintings now. That's so good because, uh, well, we could have got those, I guess. We could have got those on our own, I suppose. I shouldn't be so excited about it. <laughs> but, yeah, we can buy paintings uh, from the shepherd. And let's see. Do you guys still? Okay, we can trade more iron. Uh, iron to you and iron to you. Where's the other fella? There should be another iron trading guy. I think there's three total. Okay, look, we have a mason now too, so we can get um, we can get bricks, and uh, well, we can't get clay, but we can get bricks. I just bought a whole bunch of them, and we can actually do I have a crafting table? We can craft these bricks into things like flower pots, um, but we can also craft them into. Uh, these things. Bricks. <laughs> the bricks can craft into bricks. <laughs> what a novel idea. But that's a new building block that we can use. Uh, so I'm really excited to have the bricks. I'm going to buy a bunch from that mason. Uh, but I did just level up the mason, so let's see what else we can get. Because I can't remember what all the trades are. Okay, we can buy chiseled stone brick, but we can craft that. And what is this? Oh, we can sell stone. That's a little bit grindy, but I'll keep the uh, I'll keep that in mind. All right, we don't need anything from the clerics. I think we have a butcher, but the trade I want for the butcher is actually uh, the mutton, since we have so much uh, sheep at the at the wool farm. So I'm gonna wait and reset that trade. I didn't bring wood to trade sticks, but I do have a librarian uh, that trades infinity. So I put I bought an infinity book and put it on my bow already. So we have infinity on the bow, and we also have this guy with the uh, protection four trade. And I already did buy two books, and I put them on my chest plate and on my boots. And as well as that, I have feather falling four on my boots as well. And where's the mending guy? This is the mending guy. I leveled them all the way up. So now what I'm really excited about is look, we can get glass. And that might not seem like a lot, but uh, being able to trade for glass is huge because we don't have access to sand in this world. Uh, we can also get name tags now, which is very exciting. Uh, let's buy some name tags, which means we can... Um, wow, three name tags. Yeah, those are also hard to find in a super flat world, so I'm really excited about this mending librarian trades. Uh, we can also get more bookshelves as well, although those are pretty easy to find at a stronghold. Uh, and then we have this guy here, which I haven't traded with yet. He's a, a new fourth librarian. Uh, we're going to trade with him later, but uh, that's all the villager trades. That's what I wanted to show you. So many new things we can do now with the villager trading area. Um, but I'm going to take care of most of that in between episodes. I'm going to stock up on glass, and I'm going to stock up on bricks and some other materials because I want to do some building in this world. Um, it seems like, though, we're in a good situation here with our armor and gear. We can go fight the end dragon soon, and I'm planning to do that either in the next episode or maybe in episode... Let's see, I guess it would be 12. Anyways, that's coming up really soon, and I'm excited for it, so stay tuned. Uh, but in this episode, I have something uh, much different in mind. I want to revisit that village, the one with the mangrove propagule, and uh, I need to get sugarcane somehow. The only way I know how to get it is from trading with a wandering trader. And they're kind of rare. They show up when they feel like it. Uh, since I expanded the base, they've been even more um, uncommon because uh, they don't really have access. I can't see them coming. I also haven't seen a pillager patrol in a while, but I know they're out there. 
because um, I'm planning to do some raiding. I might even build a raid farm in the future, um, but that's going to be more like an episode 13, 14 kind of thing. Uh, we'll get there. We're making progress slowly. All right, let me uh, do some inventory management. Uh, I'm going to make some base modifications real quick, and then we'll go out for... We'll take Brownie out for a ride, I think. We're going to go try to find a new stronghold. All right, I'm almost all geared up. Let's go find ourselves another stronghold. Uh, before we go, I checked my inventory, and it turns out I only have 14 paper. Uh, paper is hard to get. I think I looted this from a village somewhere. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and make as many rockets as I can. Uh, there's a chance that when we find the stronghold, I might want to just go fight the end dragon instead of coming back to base. And so I want to be prepared for any eventuality. Uh, let's also saddle our horse up. Come on, Brownie. It's time to go for a ride. Uh, let's put the saddle and the horse armor on. Yeah, that's our first time to uh, put horse armor on Brownie here. Uh, we're going to take Brownie with us on an adventure to find the stronghold. Uh, I think, what's the best way out of here? We need to go that way, I think. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I can jump this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, uh, will I... Oh, uh, did I break some farmland? No, 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 it looks okay, actually. Uh, we're going to actually go this way, I think. We we know there's a stronghold in that direction already, uh, whichever way that is. Let's see, this is west, so that's north. So we're going to head south, actually. Um, and we do have access to Eyes of Ender now. So we can always throw one if we feel like we're getting close to a stronghold and can't find one. Um, I know the sun is setting too, so I want to make it quickly to a safe area where we can sleep the night. Uh, but in this direction, I believe there is a village that we have previously discovered. And if it's the correct village, we should be able to find a mangrove propagule there. I want to get that so that we can have access to mangrove wood. Uh, so that's another kind of wood we can farm up. Is it this village? It might be this one. It's wherever I was uh, breeding up cows for leather and food it might be this one but i don't remember it being all that close actually so we may have to travel a few hundred blocks uh let's stop here and sleep the night before a bunch of other mobs spawn in i hope there's an iron golem in this village yeah there's already mobs spawning in i don't want to have to deal with like creepers and stuff uh, so let's uh get off our horse brownie here and we're just gonna spend the night right here uh out in the open, I guess. Don't go anywhere, Brownie. Oh, I hear a zombie coming. Uh, yep. <laughs> we got zombies. Get out of here, man. Any more? No, I guess that's it. Hello, villager. Uh, here, you can have that. I have no need for it. Just gonna pick up my bed and get back on Brownie here. Uh, let's head this way. Because this is definitely the wrong village. Uh, let's see. I don't really care about the mobs too much out here. Can I pick up these if I walk over them, or do I have to get off the horse? Oh, no, I can pick up the items. Okay, that's perfect. I don't really need them anymore. Uh, we have a mob farm where we can get bones and arrows quite easily. I hope this is the right way to go. I'm just looking for uh, another village on the horizon. Come on, a village. Any village? Nothing? Nothing? No villages? Oh, watch out for the big slime there. I know this, um, I know Brownie's not the fastest, but there should, okay, there's a village right there. Let's try this one. It was one of the villages nearby where we set up for a while, and I thought it was in this direction. Um, but that's okay if we find villages that we haven't looted yet. That's just uh, another chance for us to find new items. I'm especially interested in paper. So that we can make rockets. Because we have access to plenty of gunpowder. But uh, no sugar cane. No paper. Uh, this looks like one of those abandoned villages. Or zombie villages. Some people call them. Yeah, I can see zombies already. I don't think we've been here before. This village doesn't look familiar. It's a great place to get cobwebs though. And does this village have a blacksmith? We have plenty of lava. 
now that we have access to yeah look at all the uh the zombies burning up here it's actually not such a safe place to be uh, but i want to loot it so let's give the uh, zombies a chance to burn is this two villages i think it's two villages uh very close to one another okay let's go back through here real quick i just want to see if there's anything good to loot and then we can move on uh let's see zombie in there I don't see any of the houses I'm looking for. Yeah, and there's no blacksmith here. Let's try somewhere else. It's a cool village, though. I'll come back here, I think, for cobwebs someday. What's this house? Okay, we got a book house here. But uh, book, books are going to be easy to get where we're going. Uh, let me just note the coordinates real quick. Okay. We're in the pause, pause direction. 700 blocks out, at least. Maybe more. And we've got another village here. And I doubt we've explored it because we it's right next to the zombie village that we've never seen. Let's see. Okay, I think this is another book house. Yes, it is. Uh, let's see. Is there any... Okay, there's no paper in there. Which houses have paper? I need more rockets. I'm really looking forward to getting Elytra uh, in the end after we defeat the dragon. I'm going to look for it. What's in here? Nothing. All right, let's move on. That village has nothing for us. I don't see another village on the horizon yet, but let's head this way. Uh, maybe slightly more this way? Yeah, this way. <laughs> for no particular reason. Uh, but uh, soon we'll be getting to coordinates where I would expect to see a stronghold. Okay, there's a village in the distance. Let's head toward that. I think we're pretty much headed south. I hope there's a good I hope there's good houses at this village. I need some loot. What good is exploring the world if you can't get good new loot, am I right? Uh, let's see. This seems to be the only village around. Strongholds are up in the sky, so we need to be looking out for those. Those are just clouds, though. Alright, what have we got here? We've got a cleric house. And what else? What else? Uh, no, that's a blast furnace. We don't need it. Uh, nothing in these houses, I think, and uh, can this one? Uh, this one is the, um, no, no paper in, just leather. What about in here? Uh, no, no, that's not right. And there's nothing in there either. Our, okay, I think this village is going to be a bust as well. Uh, which way did we, how did we get, oh, that's a big slime. How did we get here? Is this the right way to go? to leave uh, yeah it appears to be a pretty good direction to go let's keep exploring this way okay I think I see a stronghold loading in above I know those are just clouds they tricked me <laughs> the clouds fooled me good one Minecraft uh, okay what's that another village ahead very good I guess we probably passed the village with the uh, mangrove propagule in it. Maybe we can find it on the way back. But I at least want to try to find a stronghold in this episode, and I'm quickly running out of time. Yeah, no strongholds up there. We should be able to see one if there was. Uh, soon, we'll be far enough where we can throw an eye of Ender, and that'll point us in the right direction. And then from there, it should be easy to find. They're not very well hidden in super flat worlds. I don't immediately see anything great at this village, unfortunately. Uh, but I'm going to have a look around. Maybe... Yeah, let's have a look around here. This should have a chest in it. Uh, bread? I'll take it. I'll take the bread and the chest. Thank you very much. Good job, big slime. 
you're a medium slime now. No, you're a tiny slime. All right, come here, brownie. Uh, any other houses to loot? I think this one. Yeah, let's check this chest. You know what? I'm just going to take all the loot. <laughs> That's all we got so far. Uh, yeah, I don't need... The apples are good, though. I didn't bring any apples with me. Although we have plenty back at the base. All right. Uh, any more houses with loot? Let's see. We checked that one. I need a house with paper. What's in here? Are you... Okay, you're Fletcher. I don't need a Fletcher. And we got a book house. Uh, book houses don't have paper, right? And there's no chest upstairs? No. No chest upstairs in the book house. Come on, Brownie, where are you going? And what's this house here? I can't get through? Oh, fair enough. This is... Ah, oh, okay, Shepard. All right, I think we're done here. Let's see, is this a village we've been to yet? I'm not going backwards, right? Let me check the coordinates again. Uh, this is... Uh, it's not exactly backwards, but it's a different direction than we've been before. Uh, I think we're plenty far enough out where we should be seeing a stronghold soon. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and wait till nighttime, clear the rain, and then we'll throw an eye of Ender. We'll probably hang out at this village for a little bit. Let's see, there's a house over there that has a chest, and there's one over there as well. Really just want paper, but I guess I'll take anything. Uh, let's see, what's in here? Okay, there's a new chest. Anything good? No. A little bit of gold. I'll take it. We'll probably discard some of this as trash uh, once we get to uh, another loot location. Good job, Iron Golem. Keep up the good work. Uh, let's see, this house here has a chest. Let's see what's inside. It's usually just leather. Oh, okay, bread. I'll take it. Uh, maybe I should take the chest as well. All right. Uh, okay, yet another village. Which way are we going? Uh, yeah, we can make it to the next village. It's not time to sleep yet. Still no stronghold. I'm really looking forward to getting Elytra. We gotta get through the end dragon first, though, but we're pretty well geared. We got full diamond, even a couple with the protection four. We've got infinity on our bow and a pretty decent sword. So I think we're ready to go. It's not like this is a hardcore world or anything. We stand a good chance against that dragon. Let's see. Okay, nothing here. Uh, okay, it's going nighttime. Uh, why don't we go ahead and stop in this house here? And we'll put our bed down. Oh, we've been to this village. We just backtracked. I just picked up the same slime ball I had before. Oh well, we'll just sleep here and then we'll throw an eye of Ender. I must have got turned around a bit. Alright, that should clear the rain. Uh, let me get... Dang it. <laughs> I didn't bring my Ender chest. Uh, I had meant to. I, I don't remember why I didn't pick it up. That was like the one thing I was going to do before we left the base. Now I have to go all the way back. Well, look what I found on the way back. It's the village I was looking for, and right over here, my mangrove propagule. Let's go ahead and take that bad boy home with us. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Got it. Mangrove propagule. Where's Brownie? Where'd you run off to?
Well, there it is up ahead, the uh, stronghold. Unfortunately, we're almost out of time for this episode. So we're probably going to explore and loot the stronghold in the next episode and then go to the end and defeat the end dragon. Uh, oh, look, there's a blacksmith here. We can at least check out this village here. We're going to I'm going to set my spawn here. Have we been here before? No, no, there's still lava sources in there. Uh, where can I put Brownie where she'll be safe? OK, there's a little pen over here. Uh, there should be enough room for Brownie in there. Yeah, well, I'll use this pen right here. Let's see. OK. All right, can I get in? Not quite. Yeah, the tree's kind of in the way. Here, let me take care of that. There we go. Hey, where are you going, Brownie? <laughs> I guess I can leave that open. Let's put Brownie safely in the pen here. Perfect. Uh, where's the gate? There we go. Nice and safe. Here, I'll give you some light. There you go. <laughs> And then, uh, yeah, let's loot this uh, village real quick, and then I'll end the episode. Stronghold's gonna have to wait. It's tempting. It's tempting to go up there. Here, let's... Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, that's not that good. I'll take it anyways. I dropped off all the other loot that we had at the base, since I had to go all the way back for my ender chest. Uh, but I have it this time. So no worries. Uh, oh, I think this house over here maybe has a chest. Looks like the right... Uh, no, blast furnace. And this one here, we don't need the lava sources anymore because we have access to the nether. Hey, obsidian, that's welcome. Uh, we can mine our own obsidian now, but I haven't done that yet, so it's nice to have a little bit of obsidian here. Uh, the rest of the iron gear can all stay here. It'll be nice to have a backup set of uh, iron, but uh, I don't anticipate needing it at all. And we can use these apples, I think, to make a golden apple before we go fight the end dragon. Uh, any other loot in this village? Probably not, but it would be nice if there was like a little bit of paper here. So let's just look around at some of the other houses. Did I check this one already? Blast furnace, right? And nothing in here, I think. Yeah, nothing in there. What about over this way? Oh, did I check uh, this house already? Where'd they go? Where's the front door? There, this one. Uh, nope, it's got a chest in it. Haven't looted it yet. Let's grab the let's grab the whole thing. These gold nuggets add up to something eventually. Get out of here, big slime. Yeah, they don't do as much damage as they used to. These slime. I guess I have better armor now. Uh, all right. Is that all the houses explored and looted? Let's check this one here. Blast Furnace, right. And this is also Blast Furnace, I think. I know this is the uh, smithing table, right? Anything else? No, I think we've looted the entire village now. Are there chickens here? What is that? That's a cat. There is another village nearby, too. Uh, but I'm going to hang out here for the stronghold. Let's go ahead and set our spawn here. And then first thing next episode, stay tuned for that. We're going to go loot the stronghold. And, uh, oh, I didn't bring, I have a, a few blocks, but not many. Um, I could set up a cobblestone generator, though. I, I have a lava source and a water source, uh, so I can get more blocks if I need to. I didn't bring very many, and we're going to need some for the uh, for our end adventure, fighting the dragon and whatnot. Anyways, thanks for watching this episode of Super Flat Survival, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.